What's going on everybody? This is Word Dirty Gaming and today I would love to show you guys how to bypass the login and uh, incorrect password when logging into the Pi after an update or something you may have done by accidentally clicking something you're not really familiar with. So when you're here, it's very simple to get past. You're going to plug in a keyboard or a wireless keyboard or whatever keyboard you may have and you're going to log in. So you're going to type in Pi on the keyboard and press enter, which is usually the RetroPi login name. And then the password is going to be Raspberry. But depending on the build you're using, it might be something different. For example, I am using Supreme Unified. So I'm going to type in the password Supreme 2019. So I'm going to type that in right now. So I'm just entering it now and pushing enter. And as you can see, it's simply going to load up the build like normal and load into emulation station. But this is not the last step. There is still one more step or a few more steps that we're needing to complete to get everything finalizing so that screen does not pop up every time you end up rebooting your Pi. So we're just going to let um, the build load here. Right now I'm showing you guys this on Supreme Unified Ultra Edition made by uh, RetroBuds. So we're just giving it some time here to load. So now that that's done, you're simply going to want to go to settings or RetroPie settings depending on what build you're using in theme it may display something different but go into options. And then you're going to go into RetroPie Setup. Once into RetroPie Setup, you're going to go to Configurations and Tools. And you're going to go to Auto Start. And it's going to say here, Start Emulation Station at Boot. You're going to click A and push A again. And now everything should be back to normal. If you are using a Supreme build, there is one more step you're going to want to do. And that is go to RetroPie Tools, I believe. Desktop Launch Fix. And you're going to want to go Factory Restore Config Text. And then click OK. And now it will save to the Pi and reboot the Pi. That extra step is not needed if you're on a standard retro Pi build made by somebody else. This is just an extra step that we have in place for the Supreme build just to make sure that nothing has been tampered with with your main boot file which can cause things like um, video output issues or automated um, loading and that gets rid of that whole issue even happening but again it's not needed if you have a regular retro pi build made by someone like um, um, pi wizard uh, damaso if i'm saying it wrong sorry uh, wolf of nose level one online you don't need to do the last part you just simply need to change emulation station um, to boot at uh, start and uh, that is all um, it's a very easy fix. I hope this video helps you guys out get past that um, login screen. Again, it's caused by sometimes updating your RetroPie build or clicking in settings you're not really familiar with and making changes that um, you don't know much information about. But again, it's nothing too serious. Um, you just simply type in your password, which is usually uh, raspberry and then your login pi um, again if you're using a supreme unified build you're going to put um, the user pi and then the password is supreme 2019 and this goes for supreme unified um, rk1 up ultra unified and light this is all the same password but again if you're on um, a standard retro pi build which most builders are on the user is Pi and the password is Raspberry. I hope this video helped you guys out get past that login screen. It's very simple. It's only a few steps. 
once again it's pass uh, user pi password raspberry using a keyboard plugged into your pi going into the raspberry settings and applying the new changes for it to boot at start so enough with that said guys thanks for watching i'm sorry if i've been mumbling off quite a bit in the video um i just wanted to get everything clear and out there to help those that have actually been stuck on that video because myself when i was new in the retro pie community i had that happen when i was playing around with settings that i wasn't familiar with or um hearing stories where people simply didn't update and broke their pie but again your pie is not broken please don't worry it's simply as just entering in some information and setting emulation station to boot up at start again thanks for watching guys this is word dirty gaming peace